this is our chat list and uh, inside this we have the scroll view custom scroll view now the first thing it's important if you want to do some special scrolling effect or it is more flexible where you can design a lot of the things as well as for unlimited scrolling like this so because we are going to do this chat app where we'll have unlimited scrolling and very smooth scrolling as you can see over here so that's the first thing now it takes children in this case the children are not the usual children the one we take like usually if you have a list view inside this you will have children as widgets but here the children are called slavers so remember in custom scroll view it still takes children but the name is different it the one that it takes which is called slivers but what is slivers then well slivers are lower level api actually now what is list view then well list view actually internally uses slivers but list view doesn't get all the api of slivers but when you just directly use slivers inside custom scroll view get all the benefits from slivers so slivers help you to have a scrollable area where you can design it custom it you can use the way you want now inside the custom scroll view you have to have slivers now there are several slivers that we could use and they all start with slivers one of the thing is over here you could see we said a sliver to box it up to sliver padding like that as well as sliver list now what is sliver list sliver list you can understand more like list view dot builder inside list view dot builder will have many children right scrollable which we can scroll up and down now inside sliver list we do the same thing but a little bit different way first you have to invoke this callback function which is called sliver child builder delegate actually this one and this is very performance optimized now inside this as you see we have a list okay so this is a list actually as you can see it from the index so it's more like a list view dot builder loops through it and as it loops through all it needs to do is return children now children here they could be any kind of widget they don't have to be slivers or any of the slivers so inside sliver child builder delegate you can return any kind of children now we can hover over on this and go there in the definition we see that this one chat write list it simply returns a container so container is a render box widget which protocols uh, which follows the protocols of box or rendering box like things okay now back to sliver list so sliver list is one of the slivers sliver padding is one of the slivers now sliver to box sliver to box adapter is also one of the slivers they all have to be if you use them inside this slivers now what is the difference well the very first one if you see sliver padding which means that it applies padding of course it applies padding to other slivers so you have to have sliver class inside this you can't have a container widget or any kind of other widget that we usually use you can't have it inside the sliver padding directly you will get error so that's why over here first we have sliver padding and inside sliver padding you see that we have slivers and i mean slivers list and inside slivers list we are returning custom widget our own widget our classic flutter widget and what is this sliver to boxed adapter then well sliver to boxed adapter is very interesting now as i said early that slivers they maintain render sliver protocol which is more like they are very flexible dynamic you can scroll through you can tap on them zoom on so very special effects now they have a special protocol which is called render sliver protocol now what if you want to use a render box widget which follows box protocol like a container widget or any kind of other widget container widget or sized box widget or constraint box like that 
if you want to use them inside slivers or inside custom scroll view, the idea is same. You have to wrap that widget using sliver to box adapter, which also means that actually sliver to box adapter would help widget like container sized box to follow the protocol of sliver or render sliver protocol. Okay. And that's how it works. So I can demonstrate this over here. For example, if you directly put container over here and remove that, you will get runtime error. Of course, you see that you don't have any error now. Well, now we have this error because we are already running it. So here we have a uh, tons of error. Now let's go ahead and look at the error. So here it already says that. So uh, render viewport is, was expecting render sliver. So it was expecting sliver type class or object, but received render limited box like which is container. So as you understand, even from the error report that widget like container, sized box, constraint box, actually they have their render limited box type widgets. Okay. So you can't put this kind of widget inside custom scroll view directly inside slivers. You can't put them. So this is the error that it reported. Now, if we somehow need to work with this kind of widget, inside the slivers, then you have to wrap your widget using sliver to box adapter and you are good to go and you should not have any error. So this is the most basic idea how custom scroll view and slivers work together. Hopefully it makes sense.